Yeah, basically just checking my uh, lids today. So I've moved this bench out here and it's uh, quite nice. Uh, so I've, got, uh, I've got it on uh, night scene foliage. Um, I can't do that one handedly, unfortunately. But yeah, nothing in that one at the moment. So um, yeah. And I think I need to push it on there to push it down. There we go. I'll get the next one, have a look. And see if I can do it one handedly. Whoa, one handed Bruce Lee. Whoa, there you go. Oh, look at that. I reckon that's almost fluorescent. Yeah, I reckon that's fluorescent. What do you think, fellas? You reckon that's fluorescent? I don't know how close I can go. I am on macro, but I'm not on super macro. But yeah, I'm impressed. Uh, hmm. Yes, I reckon that's. It appears to be fresh, and I can test it out tonight with um, my son's. Uh, my son's got this thing. What's it? A Doctor Who? Doctor Who? What's it called? Uh, sonic screwdriver thing. Sonic's last legs, but um, they always do that. They, like they, these days, they seal off the battery compartment, and you know, you almost need a nuclear blast to get the bloody battery out. Yeah. Oh, I got the battery out, but the uh, the items failed. So um, yeah. Anyway, we'll see how we go. But um, no, I'm just looking for the odd uh, explosion of growth or germination or something. But uh, so far, bugger all. So that's why I'm getting to the conclusion that this sand idea is, you know, it's always peat and 50-50 uh, peat and sand basically. Peat and sand, peat and sand. We're all peat sanders, united peat sanders. Um, that's why I'm heading this way. Bit of splash onto that one. So, and I don't like the look of that one. It's starting to get um, this contamination thing down there. And the same with this jar over here, sort of thing. Down about that, almost the same depth. And I yeah, planted a strawberry in there because yeah, I wanted to carry on with my experiments from uh, 2011 just to prove to myself that it is darn well possible, sort of thing. So, um, yeah, but this one here, just keep. Oh, I can just get. The, get you down onto this thing. Oh, I'm on macro today, so yes, so I should be able to do it today. Um, can you see that new growth? It's actually going to split again. Can you see that? Am I close enough? I don't know. I'm on macro, so hopefully you might be able to get up. Uh, and I'm getting stuff. I don't know if that's a lichen that's starting to grow on there. <coughs> As I showed you with the other one the other day, I was getting um, that, uh, what do you call it, growing on them? Um, you know the zinc loving moss but apparently it likes other things other than just zinc so um yeah so anyway i just thought i'd go through these things as you do oh this one's greened up any growth though no oh yes yes germination or something what's that please pray that it's a banana i love bananas Oh no, 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 it's not germination, it's bloody one of those, it's a jemmy I think, it's one of those, ah, oh, bugger, I wanted a banana, I love bananas. I haven't grown banana from seed for a good many years now, so uh, yes, anyway, send me more banana seed, yeah, I'll always be happy with banana seed, I don't know, I think maybe it's because I look at scopensis in a totally different way. You know, I, I remember talking to David Bond about Capensis, what, 15 years ago on the phone? And we both agreed. We thought it was absolutely fucking lovely plant. And it's just that it was, it was too small. Like, if you could double its size, it would be on a level with the Regis or something. Well, that's what all this, all this work is about. It's, um, you know, uh, getting that stage where we can actually double the size of a cape on a regular, re reasonably regular basis. Like, every... <laughs> Every year, every season, for all times, really. Okay. And they have a simple, cheap, rough as guts methods of tissue culture where you just throw the fucking leaf in and it grows, you know? Yeah. Nothing so far? But anyway, we'll keep going, but. Uh, as I said, we're getting the sunlight now, and then this thing's going to burst out, this thing, uh, on the Bloomsday of August, which is usually around about the 23rd of August. 
Uh, we're about the 8th today, so we've basically got to another two weeks, I reckon. 14 plus 8 gives us uh, four, two and a half weeks, basically. Anyway, I did these yesterday, so that's why they've got a different sort of, um, what's it, pattern, condensation pattern on there. Um, yeah, I'm looking at that, so that should be uh, interesting. These ones started later than the uh, the rhubarb thing I did, so uh, I'll be looking out for. Um, that looks like it's got a little bit, a little bit of lichen growing on it too. Uh, start starting to initiate on that one. Uh, I'm still looking out for that other thing, but this will probably needs another couple of weeks before it gets to the the other thing down there. So anyway, over and out for now.